All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna do a little video for y'all. Um, I'm just gonna take this motor apart and check it out. Um, show you the internals. I'm gonna take check the bearings. Um, I just put uh, new bearings in this about, uh, oh, no, it's been about a gallon and a half, I guess. And I also just had this pinched about, it's been about a gallon and a half. I, had, I sent it to Adam Drake and had him pinch it for me. Anyway, I did this video last night, y'all, and uh, my phone went dead on me. And uh, what I did record, I realized uh, I got the my iPhone suspended above me. I don't have a, uh, a stand or anything yet. I got to get one. Anyway, and it was, it was out of view, and I should have looked at it. Anyway, so I'm going to do it all over again for you guys. I just stopped what I was doing, and... Um, Anyway, I went in and took the clutch off. I just, I've tried this clutch, is awesome. I got this about, uh, I put about, I don't know, maybe half a gallon on this clutch. And this is a really good clutch, the uh, Red's Tetra four shoe clutch. That's nice, I like that a lot. I'm running uh, two aluminum, two carbon. That's a really nice clutch. Anyway, so I'm going to break this down, just show y'all the internal, check it out, see how um, I'm running uh, VP 30% pro, pro race. I'm just going to check it out and see what's going on inside. Um, for this, I'm going to need my bearing puller tool. Um, I'm going to need, let's see, I don't need the flywheel tool because I already took the clutch off. Alright. Anyway, I know some people are interested to see how this clutch tool or the bearing puller works. Figured I'd show y'all. Alright. I'm gonna get a, uh, like a GoPro soon and I'm gonna see so y'all can get y'all some footage at the track. Um, one thing with this clutch though, the clutch nut on it, um, when I took this off last night, I had some trouble. I guess some Loctite got on the actual um, crank because, man, it was, it was, I had a lot of trouble. I actually had to put something in and kind of pin the crank down just to turn it because it kept turning over. Anyway, I got it out. Um, but this clutch nut is the regular 8 mil clutch tool. It'll go around it but it won't fit through here. So I had to modify my other one. What I do? Right here, see how I add this, just, I grinded that down a little bit all the way around so it'll fit in there good. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. Actually, I'll just leave that on for now. I'm gonna take this back plate off. Oh, this is a, uh, a Ninja JX21 BO1A old school motor. This motor's got, this is my practice motor. Uh, my race motor, I have a um, 82, an Adam Drake 2 motor. Anyway, you want to make sure you're, you know, let me go ahead and take this glow plug out. This motor has about, uh, about eight or nine gallons on it. But I just rebuilt it, basically, the whole thing. I put a new piston, sleeve, conrod. Um, and I have, um, let's see. Then I just had uh, Drake pinch this one. So this, this uh, the internals, besides the crank, the, it's the original crank. Um, like I said, it's about a gallon and a half on it. So you want your, uh, You want your piston toward the top when you take your back plate off. Because it can grab the... Just give it a little twist and just pull it off. Because it can grab the... Um, 
you can break off the bottom of your piston. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on that. There's the. I use uh, just regular. Um, this is good stuff. Three in one for after on oil. It's the best stuff, man. It's all you need. Keeps the rust out. Keeps it nice and lubricated. You can see there. It's good and moisture on it. Let me make sure this thing's on right. You can see me good? Okay. Anyway, I'll show you all the pinch and everything, but it's, it's looking pretty smooth in there. Go ahead and take the head button off or the head off. These are great. These uh, flexi caps really protect your head. I love these. I got like four of them. You can see the, um, hold on, let me grab some more, another roll of shop towels. I'll be right back. shop towels gotta have these um what was i saying anyway oh yeah the the oil coming out of it it's good to keep it lubricated anytime you're gonna store it for a little while Here's the head button right here. Come on, baby. You got a uh, one aluminum, one brass sleeve on there, or washer. You can see the carbon build up. Just give that a little wipe. It's not rust, it's just carbon. Or um Castor. Castor oil, that's that's what the word I'm thinking of. Like I said, guys, I did half of this video last night, so I just kind of put everything back together. I didn't finish everything before I realized that my phone had died on me. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do it over because I know there's some people out there that are wanting to know about this um, bearing tool. There's the sleeve. There's the exhaust side. And there's the 
there's your boost ports. This is a um, three port. It's got a lot of lubrication on it. I'm gonna take this piston out. So slippery. Come on now. There we go. There's the piston. Like I said, this I cleaned this up a little bit last night. Looks pretty good. I don't see any rust or anything. It's got a little thing on it. And it's got the filler. DLC coated. This has been a really good engine. Like I said, this is my, I use this to practice mostly. Um, I'm going to show you this bearing tool. All right, we'll start with the front bearing. You just take this off here. You have this little cup. Um, to You need this piece on to take the front bearing out. So you just put that piece on there, push this through. Just like that. And to take the bearing off, you put the cup facing in so it can grab the bearing. And then that little that little black piece I just showed you, that's the part that's gonna pressure and you just turn this side here. It's real easy, this tool is awesome. It's so much easier than heating up your motor or your your block, you know, and then you gotta put your bearings in the freezer and all that crap. You don't have to worry about any of that with this. There's your bearing right there. That's the front bearing. Nice, real smooth, very smooth. Like I said, that's only got about a gallon and a half on it. Um, and then you just take that out. I keep this pretty lubricated, but wow, it's got a bunch of oil on it. So I won't need this again until I put the bearings in. Um, hold on one second, guys. Um, to take the rear bearing out, Use this tool here. What the way this works is this goes around your bearing, about around the inner bearing race, then you do that up and it tightens around the inside of your bearing or expands, and then you just twist it out. So to take it out, you want to loosen this up a little bit there to where it's normal. Um, wind this down a little bit. That looks nice. It's clean. No rust. That VP fuel is awesome. I mean, you really don't even need after run oil. I hardly, I use, the only time I put after run oil or that three in one oil in is if I'm gonna, I know I'm not gonna be using it for a while. So you just put that in right in there, inner bearing. You look through there and make sure it's in there. And you tighten that up. Oh, that's the wrong way, actually. 
go the other way to the left. Make sure it's pushed in while you're turning it. Get it good and tight. See if I pull on it now. See it's around. It expanded around the race. So now I just. Let's see. I got to get this part right. I'll go this way. Go to the left. So you just keep turning this. And the pressure. It just, it just backs it out. There's your bearing. And then to take it out, you just uh, twist it back down. There you go. Oh, that's right. This, um, yeah, this bearing. Yeah, like I said, it's only got about a, about a gallon, maybe a little bit more. And this is, um, both of these are Avid, the um, Avid, just the Avid uh, ceramic. These are pretty good bearings here. I'll show you all the inside. See in there, it's got a little itty bitty, some, uh, I don't think it's rust, it's just a little uh, carbon buildup. Anyway, it looks pretty good. Let's see if y'all can see that good. See a little build up there. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you all that tool. I'll show you how we put it back in now. Um, to put them back in, you just undo that. Um, you take this piece off to put them back in. You don't need that. So I'm gonna put, you always put the, for the rear bearing, you want the, the ball bearings to facing the rear exhaust. So you wanna see that out the back of your, you know, your exhaust when you open it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a three in one right here. Just right here where it goes, cause that's where the bearing's gonna be sitting. So I wanna put it on this way like that there. So I'm just gonna slide that in there like so. All right, now I'm gonna take my front bearing and just slide it over that. And to put it back in, you put this facing that way. So put the pressure on it flat. And you just turn this until it's flush. You know, until you can't turn it no more. Like I said, guys, I like to, I'm gonna get a, a GoPro or something soon and some better, uh, video equipment just if nothing else get a tripod or something for my my iphone so i can get y'all some actual track time and videos you know just better quality videos um so there we go just you know you don't want to like tighten it down you just put it till it's flush back that off there you go that's it just like so I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. All right. I'm gonna put 
this little guy back on. And that's it for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, show you how to do the clutch, put the clutch on everything. Might as well. Um, never have enough three in one guys I'm just gonna lubricate this just a little bit now yeah, that's good in there put a little bit down here for when I put the sleeve in Lube that up a little bit you want to make sure there's no particles or any I mean you don't want any foreign objects in your going in your engine so you always want to make sure you're in a pretty clean area before you open your motor up like this um well that's butter smooth now this in back in you always want this little hood here let me show you see how the pistons like it's got a hood or a little tongue or whatever you want to call it that faces the exhaust so that's facing the back like this all right so you just flip it up let me get this down here like this you gotta kind of tilt it so and then it'll just lock right on there you go that's that all right now you got a little notch right there that notch goes on this little notch you want to put this in real slow and gentle um, i'm actually going to add a little bit of Pull the, I'm gonna pull the piston down just to get it started. Um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show y'all the pinch real quick. Let me take this back out real fast. Let's check out the pinch. Um, there's your exhaust port, so it goes in like this. Look at that. I'm pushing on it good too. Look at that pinch. Got a lot of a lot of compression left. Flip this back in here. baby there we go uh oh it went on and it came back off no oh. keep sliding on me there all right let me get this started in there slow All right, once you get it in there a little ways, you play, you just kind of, let me show you all this. Let me see here. You just kind of slowly turn the, the can, or the crank while you just kind of maneuver and slowly push down on the sleeve until it falls in place. There we go. Just like so. Make sure that's lined up right. Boom. There it is. 
All right, that's that. Wipe up some of this little, just give it a little wipe down, wipe away a little bit of excess or some of the I put a little notch here on my head button. So the way I know where it goes, I'll line it up with that there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wiggle that on. Line that up. Dang, I'm gonna have to take off my, uh, I'll take this off for now so I can see. Try to put this on here. Um, this one doesn't have a, uh, you know, like a notch for the exhaust, so you can, you can put it either way, you know, you can put it forward or backward. Um, I like to run mine this way. So I'm gonna, um, line it up right there. Drop those in. Always tighten this down um, in an X pattern. That way it goes down flush. Um, I don't, I like to, I'll get it, the screw started with this here, but I like to finish it off with um, hand tightening in it. Oh, sorry about that. Y'all hit the, um, my suspender thing here, so it got the camera spinning a little bit. Oh, I did it anyway. Oh well. Hold on, let me readjust this a little bit here. If I told y'all what I had my phone suspended in, y'all would laugh your ass off. <laughs> I had to rig something up on the fly. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this time like this. We're already almost 30 minutes in this video. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm just lightly tightening it right now and then I'll finish it off with uh, Come on, baby. Just give it a little, a little crank. There we go. All right. Let me make sure this. Yeah, that's good. I put the uh, back plate on. You want it, your piston. You don't have to be all the way up, but you want it kind of out of the way so you don't scrub this on it. Um, I like to put it in there and let's see, you just kind of turn it a little bit, twist it in place like the, like so. There we go. I just put this exhaust gasket on just not long ago. It's only got, not long at all, very, maybe just a couple tanks, a few tanks. Y'all let me know what y'all been up to, guys. Where y'all from? Where y'all racing at? What y'all been up to? I'd like to know what kind of... What are y'all running? What kind of platforms y'all running? What setups you got? What motors you're running? Um, if y'all have any questions about any of the stuff that I'm doing, 
please don't or feel free to just comment or below and let me know and I'll answer any questions y'all have. Go ahead and put my you know what I am gonna do? It's probably not gonna be running till probably next weekend, so I'm gonna put a little squirt in there. So that roll around. Boy, that and it's got a lot of compression. Let that roll onto that uh, back bearing good. Get in there good, work it around. Move it toward the front. Just work it around a little bit. Now I'll put my glow plug in. Let's move on to the clutch. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover that up. This is a brand new uh, gasket cover here, so it's might need to oil it up a little bit. There we go. to the clutch um, you can't just use there's a well I don't want to say it's special but this particular collet you have to use it with the reds reds clutch the other collets don't work very good um, let's see let me get all my clutch stuff Slide the collet on. You know what? No, that's not it. Yeah. Slide this on. Get that on there. You always want to make sure this crank is pulled all the way forward as tight as you can. That way your piston doesn't hit your back plate at all and it's stroke. Just kind of hold that there. I'll wipe that out. You don't wanna, you wanna keep any oil and stuff away from your clutch. You don't want that slipping or sure don't want to get it on your clutch shoes. Put that on slow at first, and I'm gonna just pull it good. Make sure it's good and tight there. Get a little bit of Loctite, um, blue Loctite. Just thread locker. Make sure this is lined up good. Yeah, y'all can see. You know what, actually I better do this first. I'm gonna take that back off. I'm gonna give that a good wipe. The threads. Shake this up. I don't want this getting in y'all's way. Hopefully y'all can see this. You know what? I'll just take this off so y'all can see better. Well, I said I would, but I'll just 
loosen that up. There we go. There we go. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'll just put that back on. What I did there, I just noticed when I was pushing down on that, that see my, my high speed needle? I have to tighten that up. Anyway, so you make sure that's pulled out good. Get you just a little drop. You don't need a whole lot. You don't wanna do like I did last time, I guess. I don't know what happened last time. This thing was a pain in the ass to get off. Oh, that's my, Never mind. this one hasn't been open. I got one that's open here. Give it a little shake. There we go. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot. Pull that tight. See, I want this to line up. I did this last time. Put it on slowly to start. Or what I like to do, I'm gonna um, make sure it's at bottom dead center. Right there. And then I line it up, the reds, logo, straight. Give that a good tug. I feel like this keeps getting in y'all's way. All right, now I'm just gonna put this on, thread it by hand first. And I'm gonna take my modified clutch wrench Just go ahead and hand tighten it. Then I'm gonna get my my flywheel tool. It's got the plastic grippies on there so it doesn't mar up your flywheel. Pushing down on this, making sure it's good and tight. And just crank it on. I mean, you know, this doesn't have to be like, you know, super tight, but you do want that on there pretty, really firm, but not like He-Man strength, you know? All right, make sure there's no play. See how there's no play in that? Nice and tight. My reds logo lines up at bottom dead center. See that? All right, now I'm gonna take, let me see. I don't remember where exactly. I don't know if I have that one here. I'm gonna try that there, see if I remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some new um, clutch bearings in. I'm gonna wipe this out. I got a little bit of that damn oil in there, I think. You do not want that. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray this with some brake cleaner real quick. I think I, I got some of that. See that? See that shiny? Looks like I got some three in one in here. I'm gonna spray this out. I'll be right back.
Alright. Just give it a good wipe. This is a brand new Reds clutch bell that I got with the clutch 13 tooth. It's a nice clutch bell. Vented. Vented, it keeps your your clutch cooler, but at the same time, it allows a little more dirt to get through, so you wanna constantly keep a check on your, uh, your clutch bearings. You know, clean them regularly or change them out when they need to be changed. y'all made it this far through the video guys i really appreciate it thank you all for sticking around um like and subscribe i'm gonna try to start doing um you know a bunch more videos when i can let's see i'm gonna grab i'm gonna put some new clutch bearings in I have some of the, um, these are the Avid. I think these are, these are ceramic, but yeah, see? They're, um, oh, what do they call them? It's metal shielded on one side and rubber on the other side. I'm gonna try these out. I haven't tried those yet. Um, usually when I, my clutch bearings, I just run you know, this, um, the metal shielded because they give you the best, uh, or the less friction. Throw those in there. Two brand new clutch bearings. Nice. Uh -oh. Slide it on. That's good. I put two shims. So y'all can see that. These right here are really nice. These are uh, the oh man, the Kyosho. Um, Flanged, eight millimeter, you can get them in eight or 10 millimeter, the uh, flanged, see the lip on it? I got those, they're kind of hard to find, or they were, but I found them on eBay and like, they had to come from Japan, but I got them in like, uh, I think it was like four days. It was super fast, I don't. Anyway, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, just to check, I'm gonna just tighten this on and before I add any Loctite to make sure it's, uh, it's how I like it. You want just a little bit, what is that? You want just a little bit of play, not much at all, but just cause you're, you know, to expand a little bit when it heats up. Make sure your washers are... Well, this is one to be aggravating. See that? Very little play. That's what you want. So I will, you know what, let me check this because I don't know what happened last time, man, but this thing did not want to come off.
or I got the the uh, flange uh, screw out and I got it was hard for me to get the clutch bill off but once I got the clutch bill off I couldn't even with the the flywheel tool you know I had the my uh, pliers on it and everything and I was um, the clutch nut wasn't turning I guess what I'm saying was the motor was all closed up and it wouldn't it kept turning the motor over instead of unloosening the clutch nut. So I had to get some Loctite on the actual crank itself. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, you just needed just a little drop again. Blue Loctite. Red locker. Just a little drop. Hell, I'm afraid to use... Uh, the thread locker now after that happened last time but you do need a little bit some people say you don't the motor's just going to heat up anyway and it'll melt the thread locker but it seems to work so I use it every time I'm going to try not to get any on these washers Take my pliers, like so. Give it a good turn. Put this up. I don't want to use these. Let's see. There you go, guys. That's it. That's the um. See that bearing in there? I don't know if y'all can see that. All right, look. Can y'all see the bearing when I spin it? It looks like it's... See that bearing, the way it's turning like that? It almost seems like the bearing is a little bit too small on this outer one. I got to check that, y'all, because this, this clutch bell may require a little bit bigger bearing than what I'm gonna have to look that up because uh anyway I'm gonna check on that and I will um I will let y'all know in the next video that um I don't know it almost seems like like I said like the bearing is a little bit too small that is weird I can't imagine I mean uh, I don't know. I will check that out. I'll look that up. And uh, I'll get back with y'all. Anyway, there it is, guys. Like I said, this is the Ninja JX21B01A. And this, uh, I just got this too. This is another Outerwares. These work pretty good. I've, had, I've used them in the past. Save you a few air filters. Anyway, guys, appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe. And y'all be fast. I'll see you the next time. Peace.